Hi everyone, welcome to Tom's Man Shed. Uh, yesterday I did a video, um, you'll see it uh, amongst, amongst the collection, um, on the test of the uh, Osmo Action Camera, how good its um, rock steady stabilisation was attached to a car, uh, my Grill Scorpion kit car, uh, and I attached it in a very uh, vibratory place and uh, did a little trip over very rough roads just to test how good the stabilisation was and to compare it to the, the Git 2. Um, so check check out that uh, that video if you're interested. But the reason I'm doing this is that at the, when I did it and I looked at the footage from the Git 2, I was a bit disappointed with it. I've had it about three or four years and I don't remember it being quite that bad. Um, always thought it was really, really good quality. Obviously not in the Go the Hero 7 and the uh, Osmo Action class, but of course it's a three or four year old camera, they weren't out then. So I wondered what had gone wrong with the uh, with the, the folks, it just seemed a bit blurred. Uh, distant leaves on trees and things like that seemed blurred. So I remember years ago, before I had the Git Up, so probably going about five, six years or whatever, I had a GoPro 3 and that had the same problem and I had to take it apart and twist the lens a bit which is like glued in but if you're careful and you, you, you put some force on with your fingers you don't have to grip it with um, any tools and you just um, keep increasing the force but without enough to break any plastic you, you know what I mean you get the feel of it you can break that glue seal and twist the lens uh, this way and the other I don't know why it should have, uh, if it has come out of um, position, because I've always treated it with kid gloves. Uh, I've never done any action stuff with it. Do I look like a person who does action sports? <laughs> it's only ever been really uh, screwed to the roll bar of the car. Um, but, like I say, I, it was uh, a bit blurred, so I thought I'll have a go. And I, uh, I took the front off and I, and I tweaked the lens and as you'll see um, from the footage um, it's much much better. All you'll need as well is you get up obviously a very thin Allen key type screwdriver it's got 1.5 written on the, uh, on the Allen key so that must be the size and a little glue gun or you could use um, epoxy or silicon sealant but a glue gun would be best that's all you'll need to do it and it's about a 10 minute job doing it and about half an hour messing about trying to find the best position so have a look at the footage see what you think see which is better before or so this is the uh, before footage and again, it's just a walk up my drive, focusing on various things at di different distances, like the TV aerial there on the roof. So if you want to sort of freeze frame it at any any point, uh, that's the best way to look at it. The uh, printing on that battery, see how clear it is, how close we are. That looks better on this before setting than the after. Actually, that's the only thing that looks better. Uh, I've not got the stabilisation on, it's on the 2K, the maximum resolution. Now, if you look in the distance, right in the very, very distance, there's a, a, an antenna, a telephone antenna. See it there, just see how blurred it is. And that one there, just above the black car, between the two roofs, there's an electric pylon. That's probably the furthest away thing. See how sort of blurred the outriggers are of that? Compare that and look at the... Uh, leaves on the tree so straight up from the roof of the car a bit right in that little ticks shape made by the two things if there's a pile on there look at them uh, leaves there there's a, just obviously just across the street that on that far away tree and then these just in next door's garden and the houses at the end of the street there you see that the uh, the leaves are a bit blurred on them that tall tree behind that house there look at the uh, close-up of them trees the, the aerials on top see if you can see the, the cross cross bits of the aerials 
So varying distances. And that's now looking into the sun. And the, uh, again, the leaves there. And that aerial on top of my garage. So that's the before. Now this is the after, after I've tweaked it. You can see already them leaves there look a bit crisper. The only thing that doesn't look as crisp is this, the printing on that. Slight bit of blurring, but it is very close, and I'm not bothered about things that close being uh, in focus, I don't think. A bit too much, but already I can see a difference. If you look at that, again, in a very distance, sort of like the horizontal bit of wire that looks there, there's a, that aerial um, um, phone mast. You'll see there is more detail on that. Also in next door's tree, so even closer things see more detail. The pile on there in the tick between the two roofs, you can uh, see more sort of girdy shape. And even as closer trees you can see do look to my uh, to my eye anyway a bit crisper than before so things uh, a medium distance away as well as a long long distance away there the houses at the end of the street that's particularly uh, different if you freeze the frame there on before and after i could definitely see a, a difference particularly in the trees above them far houses and again that tree there there's much more detail in it than in the before and the uh, the aerials seem crisper against the background than the before footage and that's just with tweaking it the, uh, the amount shown before so uh, what do you think before or after i know uh, i know which i prefer it's definitely after so it's dead easy to do the uh, do the tweak uh, let's get right on with it now this is how you do it okay so it's dead easy to uh, take the uh, front off the uh, off the get up to get it the lens you'll just need a tiny tiny allen key it is v it was 1.5 so it's a 1.5 i'm presuming allen key and there's just four screws, I've already taken them out, there's four screws. One, two, three, four. Once you've done that, you just stick your thumb behind there. I didn't need um, a tool, one of them uh, phone opening tools or anything. Just put your tool out down there. You might have to push in the middle bit there. Was a bit, I'll just zoom out a bit. middle bit there I had to and the whole front just comes off like that now there's two ribbon cables here and here if you wanted to go delving further into it that's where you'd have to uh, you'd have to go so first of all take the battery out and the card and if you can see the lens it's on a screw thread and it's glued in it's very very stiff now that is the position now I've got it I don't know whether you can see there I've put a scratch on it it's very hard to see but I've put a scratch on the original position and the original position was I'm gonna turn it it's very stiff because it is still glued in but, but if you're very careful and press pretty tight without obviously breaking the plastic just work it backwards and forwards a few times you'll be able to loosen that lens up and so you can just see the scratch there that's the original position it was at and I experimented and experimented, turning it right and left until finally the ideal place was as I'm holding it now, looking at the front of the camera turn it clockwise so that scratch goes to the side and it, it 
goes tight just at the right spot which is now the slot is there the scratch is there so seen from the front the scratch before was at six o'clock it was directly it was directly under the uh, lens like that now it is at that position so I would say half past seven on a 24 hour clock it's a bit more than seven a bit less than eight I think could be nearer eight but that's the position I got for me yours might vary so I would suggest you just tweak it a bit one way then go out and film have a look at the results come back tweak it a bit more tweak it a bit more tweak it a bit more you could of course uh, rig it up to a HDMI monitor and sit outside with that but um, I couldn't on my, my lead wasn't long enough and uh, I wanted to film things at different distances so basically that is it um, once you've done that and you've got your exact spot which I know mine is there I'm then going to put a blob of um, hot glue on there I uh, don't know where I'm going to do it so I'll turn the camera off now while I do that um, doesn't not be, you're not going to be able to see much with me hand in the way of me doing that and I'll put a blob of glue on that and I'll show you uh, the result okay so right hopefully with the help of this torch you will see I've put a blob of hot glue just between the lens and the, the base and the same underneath as well it's well clear of everything so it doesn't matter what it looks like there and you can see, see a bit better now, there's the scratch that I put on the mark on the lens and that's how far I've moved it that scratch was originally there at the uh, 6 o'clock position right across there at the very very bottom and it is now that far around probably nearer the 8 o'clock position but like I say if you uh, if you experiment with your own you'll see how far you need to to uh, to move it and then after that just clip your case back on and screw the screws back in um, so dead easy really it's a no-brainer you can't really do any damage okay so there you go, a dead dead easy, just whip the four screws out, pull the front of the case off, turn the lens tightly till you feel the, the glue break, and then uh, position it where you feel right. Like I said, my suggestion is just move it a midges, do a film, come in and look, is it any better? Do it a midges more, do it a midges more. If you go too far, go back and just pick a happy medium. But that's how far I had to turn it from, like a six o'clock position to an eight o'clock position. And uh, well, like, like I say, if you look at the results, um, free, freeze the the video on the, on certain objects, you'll see. Um, I think it does look a lot crisper after I tweaked it through a few degrees. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope it's been of some use to you. Uh, if you like this channel, uh, subscribe by all means. I'm always doing little sort of little tests, little uh, unboxings and reviews of tools and things. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.